So suppose you're determined to open the lock by trial and error. And you try a new combination every second. What is the longest amount of time that it could take to find the correct combination? Right. So again, we established there are 100,000 possible combinations for this lock. Okay, in order. Okay, and you're going to try one every second. So you know, what's the longest amount of time it could take? So the longest amount of time, um, what I'm trying to refer to there is that, um, you know, just imagine you don't get it until the very end, okay? Just imagine you don't guess the answer until the very end and you're, you're guessing the combination every second. I mean, you could be lucky. You could get the, the, the correct combination early in the process or halfway through or later or whatever but what would be the longest possible amount of time if you didn't get it until the very end and you guessed a new combination every second okay so it would if, if that was the case it would take you a 100,000 seconds right it would take you a hundred thousand seconds of guessing right so um, whoops it would take a hundred thousand seconds now, um, so how many minutes is that, right? So, so we want to convert that to minutes, right? Well, how many seconds in a minute? And we can use the unit analysis thing if you want. Uh, why not? So 100,000 seconds, put that over one. And how many uh, seconds in a minute? There's 60 seconds. You always put the seconds down here because you want them to cross cancel. See that? You want these guys to cross cancel. So there's 60 seconds in one minute. And that's the unit analysis. You've all done that before. 60 seconds equals one minute. Right? Um, and so how many minutes do we have? We can go 100,000 divided by 60. And that's that number of minutes. 1666. Six, six and uh, 0.66 in a, and two thirds uh, minutes is what we have. I'm just gonna write that as 0.67 um, uh, minutes, just round it to that. Well, I'll just leave it in the calculator because I wanna actually use that exact number just for fun. So uh, we wanna turn that now to hours, let's say. So 1666.67 minutes over one turn it to hours multiply it by a unit conversion that has hours in it uh, minutes down here so that the minutes cross cancel you've all done unit analysis many times I'm sure so 60 minutes in one hour HR right 60 minutes in one hour so what we're going to do is take this number and divide it by 60 again to get the number of hours. Or, if, or you can think of this, like if that's minutes, well, how many hours is in that? Well, just divide it by 60, right? And we get um, 27.777, so about 27.78 hours, okay? And then the question is, um, well, let's convert that to days, hours, and minutes, okay? days, hours, and minutes. Well, there's 24 hours in a day. I hope you all know. Okay, so, you know, 20, if so if we take this and, 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 you know, subtract 24, okay, that leaves us with 3.78 hours. Okay, so what we have is, you know, 27.78 hours which is um, one day and 3.78 hours. But I want to convert that to hours and minutes, okay? So we have one day, three hours, but how many minutes? I was on it, round it to the nearest minute. So I want days, hours, minutes. So we've got one hour, three days, how many minutes? Well, we've got 0.78 of an hour, okay? 0.78 of an hour. So you can just go, if you do this, 0 0.78 
and that's ours, right? And we, again, you can use a unit conversion. Times that by, and we want to convert it from hours to minutes, don't we? So we put the hours down there, right? Convert that from hours to minutes. Is one hour is 60 minutes. So you see how I'm multiplying by 60, 0 0.78 times 60 to get the minutes, you know? In fact, I'm just going to do this on the calculator, minus 27 to just get that exact uh, decimal and then times that by 60 again. And that gives me 46.666. Okay, so that's 46.67 uh, minutes. And we want to round it to the nearest minute, so we'll go 47 minutes. 47 minutes. Okay, so there's our final answer. One day. Three hours, forty-seven minutes of turning those wheels at le or at the most, at the most. I mean, you're going to guess it before then. It'd be very unlucky uh, for you to guess the correct combination at the very last guess. So you'd probably expect it would take maybe I don't know about half that time. You would expect it'll be an expected amount of time. It'd actually be half the time, wouldn't it? So you'd expect to take. Um, half a day, 12 hours, and half of that. Maybe you would expect about 13 or 14 hours, all right? That's what we would expect to take, right? About 13 or 14 hours to guess it. But if you're totally unlucky and you guess it at the last uh, possible combination, this is how long it would take, okay? So it would take less than that, right?